Hi there, my name is Cronenberg and welcome to my channel. This is a film review of Bigfoot Wars, a horror film. It came out in 2014, it's rated 15. Um, it's an hour and 15 minutes. Amazon is rating 4 out of 5, IMDB is 3.0 out of 10. Now the Amazon and the IMDB synopsis are identical, so it says a small town becomes the focal point of a brutal clash between man and a legendary beast. So the director is Brian T. Jaynes, J-A-Y-N-E-S, who directed Spirit Riders. Producer is Nicole, with an E on the end, Walton Durban, who produced The Curse of Babylon. Music was Justin R. Durban, so they're all, I think they're related, I don't know. Um, who did the music for Star Trek Renegades, the series. Now the cast, I've only picked the main ones, and I didn't pick the Bigfoot because, well, you'll see it on the trailer. Um, so we have Holt Boggs, H-O-L-T-B-O-G-G-S, who was Sheriff Jim Taylor, who was in the Pact, the series. C. Thomas Howell, who was Zeke, who was in The Hitcher. Fantastic film, best film in the world. I mean, I love it all the time anyway. Um, Roger Howell's in it, it's a brilliant film, absolutely fantastic. The sequel's crap, and um, the remake's just even worse. So don't bother re watching the remake, watch the first one, and then you realise why the remake is completely not of rubbish. Sorry about that. Um, Mindy Raymond, who was Kendall Sharp, who was in The Adventures of Pepper and Paula. Uh, it was filmed in Mineola, or Minola, M-I-N-E-O-L-A, in Texas, and also in the Nature Preserve in the same place. It was actually filmed between August and September of the same year. Complete difference to other films, as you could probably know, that take like about five years to do with a budget of £15 billion. Pound. And it's based on a book, which is interesting to say the least. Uh, if you look at the Amazon image, you'll see some creatures running towards you, and you think, is that just a drawing of what they look like? No, that's what they look like, um, these Bigfoot characters. So it instantly starts with a couple of, uh, well, a couple in a motel, right? It turns out it's the mayor, um, and then I see the first death. I'm not going to tell you who it was, but there's a couple of them, as in two people. Uh, decent effects, you know, it's three minutes in, and then the credits start, so it's literally the first minute or two, and we got our first death. I mean, I thought, oh yeah, this is going to be cool. So we have six college kids. Three of them are couples, obviously, so it's like male, female, male, female. Um, and they just entered a no-trespassing place. Hmm. Dear God. I mean, what could possibly go wrong there? Um, I thought it was actually going to last a little bit longer, the way they were there. I thought it was going to be like they were going to be there and then you know, whatever, a bit longer period. But then Bigfoot appears, just out, out of nowhere. Uh, well, actually, we, a few of them, and we see some deaths. It's like you see on the image, you see about three or four of them. It's, it is like that. Um, we get some good effects, arms being pulled off, some hammy acting as well. God save me. Um, but so far, it's okay. It's, it's quite enjoyable, you know, in a weird way, if that makes sense. It's a horror, for, you know. So, our main guy who is um, Holt Boggs, who's the sheriff, right? just had his boss kicking off at him. So I don't know if it's, it says it's the mayor, but that doesn't make any sense. Um, I think it's just like his boss, um, and he's moaning at him, he's kicking off, you know, after all this stuff, and um, he's just sort of taking it all within stride. And then he says to one of his deputies, he says, the famous phrase that we all know, shit rolls downhill. <laughs> Anyone that works knows exactly what I'm talking about. Your boss gives you a yelling and it's like, yeah, looks like I've got to deal with this crap while you go and bug off to a meeting. Um, I like my quotes. So he's having a bad time, right, with his daughter. Because obviously she, he's sheriff, so she's trying to on with some sort of give me some money dosh. Uh, she, she storms out, right, and this receptionist pops her head over the... Over the like the partition thing says something about her. So he says, Is there something you need? And he's just, she just sort of says, Denzel Washington in a bathtub filled with Nutella. 
I thought, oh, okay, uh, that's different. I've never heard that one before. <laughs> Denzel mind being in that? I don't know. And Nutella's a, well, I, I, you know, things, images I don't want to say. <clears throat> um, so the sheriff uh, narrates now and then like he's thinking. So he'll say, oh, yes, it's a lovely day. Things like this always happen on lovely days. The sunset is burning out. Jesus, ah, the birds are here. I've just eaten a Dorito. And you think, what the hell? It's not like he's saying, um, like, this was me. You know, like, I remember what happened, la la la. He's just thinking, and we can hear him thinking. It's so weird. Uh, so about 40 minutes in, C. Thomas Howell appears. Now, when you look on IMDb, he's not listed in the main set of actors. There's loads of other actors and stuff like that. Um, but see, I mean, he's there on the photos, but he's not there on the main scroll down. And it's just like, why not? I would have thought he was one of the main actors. In my mind, he was anyway. Um, and then he, he sort of kicked off with a, a speech about civilized versus barbarian folk. So obviously, if you look at the image of him, he looks a bit kind of like, um, you know, he lives out in the field, not field, lives out in the forest and he sort of, he doesn't really care about civilised folk. But it was a very interesting speech. I'm not going to say what it all was, but it was it was very interesting. I kind of agreed with half the stuff he was saying. I thought, yeah, actually that makes complete sense. Complete sense. Um, so, <laughs> there, there, there was obviously an attack again. Um, some people ran into a hut. It was a bit corny acting with a big foot. And the other's being attacked. It was just like it just, just doesn't make any sense, you know. Here's a bit of a pointless. I don't know. I, I don't know. There was some sort of like um, incendiary devices or something. But again, special effects were kind of interesting. The sound was weird though. So sometimes you'd be, you'd be like they'd be talking, and it's all quiet, right? Um, but we can hear movement. Like, even though they're just talking. Um, or then a gunshot happens, even though literally five minutes earlier they shot that bullet, you know what I mean? And they're just talking, and then they hear this bug or gunshot. I'm like, wait, have we just gone back in time? Um, and then again, C. Thomas is, is talking about something about Bigfoot history. So you go into full history, and not, not the history of Sasquatch as such, but the history of the ones there. I think it was Boggy Creek or something. Um, and there's music you can barely hear. It's like in the background. It's so quiet. I had to turn my volume up because I was listening on headphones. I thought, what's that music? I can just hear it. And then I heard a plane going overhead, and I thought, hang on, shouldn't it be the other way around? Shouldn't, I shouldn't be able to hear a plane go over the... Over, over the you know, over the the speech, but the music I couldn't hear, and then they just kicked in full blast. I thought, oh, there it, there it is. Um, there's not much to really say about it, but because it is what it is, it's Bigfoot. Um, but there's there's a few times that the acting's pretty crap. Um, shouting when no one shouts, sounds that don't make any sense. Um, the thing, the f funny thing is, like they're running, right? The camera's following them, so they're, they're running through the, the the fields, and the camera's doing the side shot thing. You know, when you you see people running, you see it in films all the time. But they're running and they're, they're doing the side shot. It's obviously on some sort of like a conveyor belt or something like that. But you can actually see the grass being trampled down, where the camera's knocking it out of the way, which is weird because I don't normally see that on films. You tend not to see that. It's, well, I suppose. Not everyone has the high budgets. Um, music was okay. Story was alright. Um, the ending wasn't what I was thinking. But then, I don't know. The, the story itself was... I kind of grasped a little bit of it. As in, I thought that's what it was. I'm not going to say what it was. Because it spoils the film. But, yeah, it does make sense. Um, but I still think that C. Thomas and... Um, and Holt Boggs, who was the sheriff, were the two main actors. Uh, there was his deputy, and I'm damned if I know his name, uh, but he was only in it briefly. And then there was like his daughter, but she was in it briefly. The, none of them were really in it that much. Um, so, yeah, 
yeah, the, the woman I picked up there is she was the uh, reporter. Um, she's in it near the end as well, so I put her in it. Um, I was going to pick um, this woman called Audrey Ellis Fox, who played Dakota, but I was damned if I could find a photo of her actually in the film because yeah, it would have been nice to see uh, images in the actual film because she was in at the very beginning. I think she's even on the trailer. She's the one that sort of stops the car from driving over her. Um, at least I'm assuming so, I don't know. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so it's got what, a rating of 3? I'm going to give it a 4. I mean, it didn't wow me at certain points. But I just like C. Thomas, those his speeches and bits and bats. Um, the, the, like I say, the talking over himself, not over himself, um, like narrating over himself, which was a bit bizarre, and the sounds were a little bit off. But I suppose it is what it is. Does it say how much it cost? Let me scroll down. No, it doesn't. Probably didn't cost that much. I'm assuming so. I don't know. Anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed watching this uh, film review of Bigfoot Wars. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. I've got plenty of other film reviews out there. Um, of all sorts of stuff now. Uh, leave the old... Uh, sorry. Uh, give a comment in the comment box below if you've seen this film. Um... Did you, did you like it or not? So I'm, I'm stuttering because I'm just uh, getting a bit of a cold coming in. Just what I need at this time of the year. And um, give me the old thumbs up if you like this video. Okay, well thank you and goodbye.